Uh, in the first instance, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the Tánaiste and Minister of State Costello and his uh, predecessor, Minister of State John O'Sullivan, for their diligent work on behalf of Ireland abroad and, in fact, for their work in restoring Ireland's once tarnished international rep re uh, reputation. <laughs> Delegates, uh, Ireland has a long and a proud history when it comes to overseas aid. Our NGOs are rightly renowned. They are often first on the scene at times of natural disasters or emergencies. Of course, as the Minister pointed out, there is a great deal more to overseas aid than the crisis response required during uh, times of upheaval. Long after the crews have departed, the television crews indeed, the work of mid- and long-term development continues. The work is rarely reported. It's quiet. Success often goes unnoticed at home. However, we cannot stick... Uh, sit back and take future achievements for granted based on past history. We must maintain overseas development aid as a priority, even during our present economic difficulties. It would be very easy for us to say, delegates, that we cannot afford this. But starving children in the developing world can't mount a mass email campaign. They can't march on the dole. We don't hear their pleas at the other end of the phone. Unlike turf cutters and so on, they don't have the capacity to march to the dole. Cynics say that the money is wasted. Well, I say look at the facts. Most African countries, for example, have seen extraordinary growth in the last 10 years. Infant mortality rates have decreased, education rates have risen. Even if there was no moral imperative on us uh, to do, uh, to, even if there was no moral imperative on us to do the right thing, self-interest should drive us on. These countries are our future trading partners. Uh, what benefits Africa benefits the world. What benefits the world will sure, surely benefit an open, export-led economy like Ireland's. Delegates, there's been much talk on how our independence has been compromised by the lousy deal imposed on us by the previous government. A rotten deal which we continue to negotiate and approve bit by bit, day by day and month by month. All that being sa said, we still have choices. Wherever an Irish flag is flown overseas, wherever an Irish NGO operates, it makes a statement. This is who we are as a country. This is what we do. We reach out to others who need our help because Irish people Jed, have an inherent conclude. sense of decency, of fairness and of compassion and we must never lose sight of that. If we ever did, I think we truly would have lost our national identity and indeed our moral sovereignty. Uh, Chairman, delegates, I commend the motion to conference.